So this video is going to show you how you can accept a project share from us inside your Soundtrap. So when you log into your student account, you'll get an invitation like this, and you simply need to press accept. So when you do that, um, you can opt to get a notification um, if, if we post something in the, in the chat thread, if you want, um, and you, you'll select say yes or no. And then what the, after you've pressed yes or no, it will open that project inside your Soundtrap account. And it'll load it, and you'll be able to hear it. And then we can see there's some tracks in there. And um, this is where we can post comments in the chat. So that's opened inside your account. What you'll need to do um, once you've opened it is save it. Once you've saved it, we'll do that. It's going to save. It's taking a little bit of time because it's got three tracks of audio in there. And once it's done there, done that, you can it, you can press this little minus icon and it'll take you back into your Soundtrap account. Once you've saved it, um, even if it's a project that more than one person is working on, anything else you save in it will save as your copy. So it won't be the case that you'll record, there's any danger of you recording over anyone else, anyone else recording over you, and there's also no danger of anyone apart from us being able to hear anything that you've done, so it's not public. So once you've saved it into your account, um, you're going to press minus and that'll take you back to your the inside of your account and then you're going to see now wish you were here has been saved into your projects so um, that's how you can save something that we've shared with you via a link um, you'll click on the link and it'll it'll take you to log into that screen then you're going to press accept then it will open then you save it now it's in your account if you don't go through this if you don't save it it will continue to show up here as an invitation so you will still have access to it but you'll you know ideally you'll be playing along to it so you will want to save it and that is how you save a project